Hi everyone, I'm here to show you the application of the Raffaello Finish Stucco Napoli, combined with a Neapolitan city and inspired by the princess of architects Luigi Vanditelli. A finish that is characterized by chiaroscuri that are highlighted by horizontal and vertical scratches. Okay, let's see the application now. Here behind me there is a panel in which I apply one coat of Il Primer. Il Primer is a base coat for interior, acrylic and breathable, that is necessary for the adhesion of the material that I'm going to put on. In this case, obviously, we are talking about Raffaello de Costucco. In this first coat, I'm going to use this trowel and I have to cover the surface by the minimum quantity. Let's go! Okay, it's finished. Now we are ready to make the second coat. You can see the panel here behind me is completely dry. It takes 6-8 hours to dry completely, depending on the weather conditions and the temperature that are very important. Now, by this second coat, I'm going to apply by the thrower Raffaello de Costucco in a quantity that is thicker than the quantity we usually apply. And then I'm going to create the texture by this tool, Tampone Mille Righe by Oikos. So let's go and let's see how to make the texture. So more quantity than we usually do. We cover the surface. And then we can make the texture. In this way. So, short strokes. And we go in the same area in opposite direction, like this. We make a small area and then we rejoin. Now we go again. It's important that we look together, we see that we don't see any joint at any difference. Now we are ready to smooth the texture that we created by the Tampone Milleriga. How can we understand when is exactly the time to go? It's enough that we put our hand, our fingers on the surface and when the surface is not sticking anymore on the hand, it's time to go. So we can use also, this spray that makes the thrower slide better on the surface. So let's go softly first, very softly, and if we need, we can increase the pressure.
this step is finished. Okay, we are ready now to make the last coat. You can see the panel here that is completely dry. We are going by the thrower, by the two sides, to gloss the top of the texture. As an option, I can tell you, you can make a first gloss when the surface, the panel, is not completely, completely dry and is still a little wet. So we are going to gloss by the two sides in every direction. Okay, it's finished. As you can see, the top of the texture now is gloss. We finished. Thank you very much for the attention. For any question, post a comment. Stay tuned for the next application.